Oh, hello. You know, when I was asked by <clears throat> people at gunpoint to do the Hollywood lowdown, I agreed as long as we didn't do an annoying clip show, which was very cliched and corny. So here we are with our clip show. Before the Hollywood lowdown, I was just another obnoxious, fat, loud guy who thought he knew everything about movies. One year later, nine episodes later, a lot has changed. I've gotten fatter and lost even less hair on the top of my head. Anyway, let's take a look back at some of those first few episodes that began the whole magic. Starting with our very first episode about the Oscars, which is soon approaching once again and I'm sure will be just as disappointing. Yes, the Oscars, that enchanting time in Tinseltown where all the stars come out to shine, some more than others depending on the amount of plastic surgery. When I asked people what they disliked about the Oscars, the overall answers were, they run too long, they try to cram in too much, why are you hiding in my bushes? Opening monologues have become stand-up routines that are so deeply scrutinized by critics and naysayers that it leads the public to focus more on the host of ceremonies rather than the ceremony itself. Acceptance speeches that turn into biased, self-indulgent sermons, often involving politics or religions. Folks, it didn't work for Marlon Brando or Sinead O'Connor then, and it's not working for many of us now. One of the things I wanted to do with the Hollywood Lowdown was a segment called Underrated Anomalies, a show that talked about actors and actresses uh, a bit underrated, never fully appreciated. It turned out to be a show about dead people. We're starting off with a more well-known actor, the lovable Texas-born actor, Bill Paxton, who passed away in February. The film world has learned that Jonathan Demme has passed away. Adam West passed away at the age of 86 after a brief battle with leukemia. I can't help it if all the greats are done. Well, maybe we should hold this off till August, or just change the name of your segment. I'm starting to see a pattern here. George A. Romero, often referred to as the godfather of zombies, passed away at the age of 77 after a brief battle with lung cancer. You know, believe it or not, I've been known to fly off the handle. I've been known to rant, to rave. Heck, I'd probably be doing it right now were I not so heavily medicated. Let's watch, shall we? Hold those degrees high. Be proud of all that studying and hard work you put in as you search desperately for a job that will barely keep you above water, knowing that idiots who can't put two sentences together are making millions of dollars off YouTube watchers simply for dropping their pants, singing like crap, or eating non-edible items. Get hot, run into the water. Get cold, run out of the water. Sit through leaving the beach for home trip. God, I hate this time of year. I hate the beach so much, I hate it. Will Smith's character dies while testing out a new plane or something. How, how, that's how you write off that character, really? The guy that instantly takes to flying an alien ship and masters alien technology with like 15 minutes, like 15 minutes in the movie? But really, that's how he dies? Jaws for the revengeance excuse for not having Roy Scheider was more believable. <sighs> You know, people often credit me to be the driving force behind these segments, and rightfully so. I am quite awesome. But the truth is, there are a lot of talented people behind the scenes to help make this magical event. And from time to time, they've popped up on the show. Find anything? No, not yet. There's a bikini top on the floor. Lighting and thunder, can I just get anything at all? Anything? Boom. Two o'clock in the what? All right, well I have another actor. All right, here we go. Come on in. Come Hi. On oh, in. cool. This Hello. is Scott. Hi. All He's right. Huh? I give up. And that pretty much wraps things up for this year. Hopefully, I'll be back next year with new segments, providing the courts allow me to do so. Until then, I'd like to leave you with some of my personal favorite funny moments, things I thought were hilarious that made everybody else cringe and disgust. But really, who knows better? Them or the man who drew a picture of a cat chastising a human for pooping in his litter box? 
Until then, I remain Mark Macrina until I can legally change my name to Rousdower. <laughs> <laughs>